sovereignty for indigenous women is only going to come about through the support of women and women's health. And the same way that we defend and protect Mother Earth is the same way that we need to defend and protect women and the next generations of children being born. And that's why not only is there a fully staffed and run, volunteer run clinic here that runs 24 hours, seven days a week at the camp. There's also now going to be a women's space where traditional midwifery is going to be promoted and utilized to support the women here. The root of this is, actually it goes back to, you know, the recent history of healthcare for birth for indigenous women in North America, in this country in particular, where for instance, Indian Health Services had a policy of forcibly sterilizing indigenous women. From 1973 to 1976, more than 3,000 women were forcibly sterilized, even women under the age of 21. And so that, that decreased, well, between the 1970s and 1980s, that decreased the birth rate for native populations in the United States of America from 3.8% to 1.8%. So that is genocide. And that cannot continue to happen. That is genocide of indigenous women. And just the same way that this pipeline is the genocide of our mother earth. And it's the genocide of the river and the water that feeds us all, that nourishes us all, just as it did in the womb. So that is why we're doing this here, to support the women to come back from that colonization. You know, right now, Native women, this space in particular, creates the potential, the possibility that women, that we can decolonize, not just through birth, but really take, back, take us back to a place of matriarchy and respecting women in a way that we can also respect Mother Earth and not lay pipelines in her, not dig out her liver, her coal just as they're doing in Black Mesa, Big Mountain, Sovereign Diné Nation, just as they're doing all across the country and across the globe. And right now, we're here, but we're everywhere, in your home communities. Find out who the Native folks are that are living there. Find out what they're battling. Find out what the battles are and how you can support them because they are doing it all for all of us, for all future generations, for all the babies to come. We need this water. We need this earth to be healthy, to be beautiful for them to live in. I come from occupied Tohono O'odham land in so-called Tucson now. And there is a copper mine that's trying to take away, to take a sacred land from the Apache there called Oak Flat. So I've been involved in that issue as well. I mean, everywhere we come from, those battles are there. So I want to make that connection for the folks at home to look around you and to find the Native people around you and the battles that they're fighting. If you can't come here, support them there. <laughs>